Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with the next part of the previous short movie, What If Naruto Was Batman's Reincarnation. If you haven't checked that out by the way, please do so. I will leave a link in the i button. You can click on it and just go and see the movie, short movie before, you know, seeing this one. Otherwise, the story won't make any sense. Anyways, before continuing this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And, Spidey, please just, you know, answer my question, bro. I'm really, really excited to make a make something about your idea, man. And, yeah, today, as I said previously, it's not a double upload because the idea that I was going to make, well, you know, Spidey hasn't agreed to that. If he does, I will be making a double upload soon, so stay tuned for that. And maybe, just maybe we'll see where this thing goes. Anyways, stay tuned and send in your ideas. I really, really, you know, like reading your ideas. It gives me inspiration to make my own stories as well as, you know, combine your stories with my own ideas as well. Anyways, enough said. Let's begin with our today's story. The story begins with three years later, right after the events of the main story. As... In these three years, since the disappearance of the Batman, a lot of things have happened. Naruto was able to regain control over his body and was now being taught everything by Bruce so that he could live up to the name and adore the armor of the Uzu Knight that he has created for him. And on the other side, the void of the Batman that was left in the elemental nations for the past three years has once again given people the opportunity, thinking that he was gone for good, to rise back to what they were before, as the criminals and the underworld has once more surfaced and were doing their deeds in the open now, without any fear, because they knew that Dark Knight, he suddenly disappeared and they had nothing to worry about now. While Bruce's bu blood boiled while seeing this, he knew patience was the key as he was teaching Naruto, his prodigy, everything he knew. As currently Naruto was training in the same training field in which Bruce himself taught himself in the beginning. Come on, Naruto, focus. Your posture is all wrong. If you want to be in the combat stealthily, you will have died three times by now. Jeez, Bruce, I'm trying my best. Not like I'm gonna learn everything within a day, so you don't have time, Naruto. The city. I mean, the village. Everything is going back the way it is. We have to do something fast. Otherwise, all the hard work that the bad men did, it will go down the drain. Kid. Bruce is right. You have to try your best, hardest, because the legacy that Batman left behind, Dozen Knight has to fill his shoes. <sighs> You're right. I have to do what what is best. You know, it is quite surreal. <laughs> One moment after a beating, I fell asleep in a comatose state, and when I woke up from that horrified dream, turns out it was reality and many years have gone by. And I was taken over by a man who wore a bad costume and instilled fear in the whole elemental nations. That That's quite funny, as Bruce gave him his iconic bad stare. Jeez, just kidding, you know. <sighs> it's not about that, Naruto. I, I don't know how much time that I have left here. I want you to have the best of everything that I can give you within this short time before I disappear. Whoa, 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 what makes you think that you would go anywhere, old man? You're stuck with me, like Kurama is, right, Kurama? As Kurama stood quiet. No, kid. Bruce here is an anomaly. Just like he appeared out of nowhere, there is a high chance that he might disappear as well. Y you can't be serious. I only have you too. Why do you have to go and disappear like that? I don't have a choice, Naruto. And that is why I'm trying my best here to give you the best, to teach you everything I knew and learned. I have something that you need in, to survive in this world, and I don't have time. As after a moment of silence, QB then said, Enough about this. Let the kid relax for the bit today, Bruce. And you and I should talk. As the clone dispersed, as Bruce vanished, as Naruto went to get some food and relax after a bath. As in the mindscape, we see QB and no Bruce talking. Why are you so adamant on training him? What makes you think that you will disappear? I kind of do agree with the kid. You have stuck around by 20 years or so now, Bruce. 
What makes you think that you will disappear now? I don't know, Kurama. But anything could happen, and we should always expect the unexpected, as they say in the elemental nations. So, that is why I just... I just think that it is best if, you know, he is ready. But the time comes. When the time comes. Alright then, Bruce. Let's tease the kid with all we have. As after that we see, three more years went by. As for six years, Batman was nowhere to be seen. The Kages were getting somewhat concerned because nobody just arrived and stirred up a storm and vanished like that from the surface of the earth. Well, not at least when you are Batman. Not that they knew. As on the other side, it was today's the day when Naruto would have sent out Azuzunite on his first mission. Are you ready? Seriously, Uzunite? Can I go with any other name? <sighs> now is not the time, Naruto. Focus. I will guide you from here since I have low chakra and can't fight. You're on your own, kid. Welcome to the real world. And good luck. And with these words, we see Naruto went outside. As he was patrolling, something on the map that Bruce has made with the help of Winjutsu seals and the whole elemental nation he saw some people moving by shadily nearby on the west side. Some people are moving way too much, obviously. I don't like the sound of that. You should go and check that out. On it. As now we see, Naruto went there. As he was spying stealthily from above, he saw something. Bruce, they are traffickers. Some of the girls and... What? This can't be right. What? What is going on there, Naruto? Kumokono Ichis. How are they here? And why are they even captured? What? Kumo Konoichis? This... And... And who are the people? I can't... I can't make something up of them. They look like bandits, to be honest. Something is not right, Naruto. Be careful and advance. Try to rescue them and see where things goes. If anything happens, throw the smoke bomb and disappear. Got it? Use the Hirishin Kunai back at base to try teleport there. Alright, on it, boss. As Naruto, the May Shadow Clones, do stealthily sneak up on the others while he snuck up on the boss, and within an instant, they knocked him out, incapacitating them without causing much damage. Good, but you still need to hold back a little bit of your strength. They are incapacitated, but they are wounded internally. Jeez, I tried my best, okay? You have to try harder, Naruto. Never cross the line, remember? Yeah, yeah, of course. As Naruto then rescued the girls from the prison. As after evacuating from there, getting to a faraway place that was safe from that place, we see Naruto waking them up. Oi, wake up! Wake up! As the Konvichi stirred awake. Where, where are we? What is this place? Who are you? Calm down, Kari. Hmm. You're the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails. How do you know, kid? She's a Jinchuriki as well. Two tails. Matatabe. So you're Matatabe's Jinchuriki? Hmm. So not cool. What are we even doing here? Shut up, Samoy. And who might you be? Said Kari. Oh, um, uh, Uzunite. Nice to meet you. As they all looked at each other confused. Yeah, yeah. Nice name you got there. <laughs> Wanna be Dark Knight. Oi, I'll tell you this much, I'm much better than the Dark Knight. Yeah, wearing orange in the night, not so much, buddy. I don't think so. As now we see, Naruto then said, Jeez, this is what I get for rescue you? I should have left you there, Naruto. Yes, yes, I'm just kidding. Said Naruto through the earpiece silently. As the girls then said, Wow, you're quite rude, aren't you? Well... Sorry about that. Anyways, what happened? How did you end up here? We we were just scouting out the area nearby. There were some bandits. Turns out our own, some of our own betrayed them. They were working with the bandits and supplying them with our, well, children and women. Now that we know, we can arrest them. Good. They're incapacitated and tied there. You, you can take them back if you want to. Well then, I'll be off then. Bye. As Naruto disappeared in his armor. As now we see Naruto jumping from tree to trees, leaving the girl quite baffled there. Well, he is quite, you know, 
resourceful, even though he is a wannabe," said Karvi. Well, he is certainly inspired by him, but he is not him, I guess. As Naruto on the other side and said, "Fee you, damn, do I need some social skills? I can't barely talk to them." As on the other side, we see Bruce then sighed, focused Naruto. So, how did I do, pops? Well, you were good, but you could do better. Ah, jeez, always with these compliments. Anyways, what else can I do tonight? Well, now that you are saying this, wait, something big is going on. Again? Jeez, does this village ever sleeps or something? Quiet. What? This can't be right. Wait, what is going on, Bruce? Said Naruto, now getting serious. Why is he escaping? Who is? The Akatsuki member named Zetsu. This can't be right, Naruto. You have to go to Rice Country instantly now. As the kunai marker that was left by Bruce there, the Hiroshian one, suddenly came to life as Naruto was teleported there. As now we see Naruto watching this from afar. This can't be right. The guards are everywhere, like they are frantically searching for someone. Who could have escaped? Me, that's who. As Naruto instantly eyes wide and was able to barely able to dodge a kunai attack from a Venus flytrap like thing. You have been a bane in my path, Batman. Wait, you're not Batman. Who is he? Who are you? I am Zetsu. And who are you, poser? Want to be a Batman? Jeez, why does everyone think that I want to be him? I'm much better. As now we see, Bruce then says, Quiet. Naruto, switch places with me. And this will be the final patrol. After that, I will return back on my own. Alright then. As suddenly there was a puff of smoke as Naruto disappeared. And instead, behind him, behind Zetsu, a punch landed in, the, in his skull, sending him flying back. And there stood Dark Knight. What do you want from me? D the Dark Knight. Batman. I thought you disappeared. Disappeared, but not dead. I'll only appear when needed to be. Wait. You and the Duzu guy. You, you're working together, aren't you? That doesn't concern you, Zetsu. What are you doing here? <laughs> what does it look like? I want revenge on you. And whether you like it or not, I will get it. Why? Because this isn't the real me. I left one of my clones here, so that once you arrive, I'll be able to handle you. I'm long, long gone, Dark Knight. Search all you want. As a Rasengan was formed and slammed into him, as Zetsu laughed and poofed away. This is not good. Not good at all. I don't feel anything good about this, Bruce. Neither do I, Kurama. Wait, so who was that guy again? Uh, Kurama, can you tell him until I get back home? Alright. As now we see Bruce dashing back towards the base, and then he teleported there. And until then, everything was shown to Naruto through memory placement jutsu. As Naruto then said, So wait, he is the Zetsu, the one who was with the Akatsuki that you defeated, Bruce. Yes. And they were quite a strong bunch. I don't know what he has under his sleeve, but he said something about an ace. It's him, said QB, as both of them looked at him. What? What are you hiding, Kurama? It's Madara, remember? Oh no, not him. I know what he can do. Madara? Like Madara Uchiha? Said Naruto. Yes, Naruto. Madara Uchiha, said Kurama. Dang, we're three. We can take him. It's not the, so simple, Naruto. I've read about that man. Even the current Kages, all of them, they still talk about him respectfully and with fear. That man, that man was able to utilize something that I think I, I adopted, but he was born in it. We have to be careful with this one. So where could he going to be? I know one place, the Uchiha Shrine, where the minor Uchiha's reside. That means that his first target might be the Uchiha's. We have to go there and warn Gigi. Naruto, you have to do this, remember? Jeez, you can't be serious, Bruce. This is your fight, Naruto. And this is your ultimate test to prove me that you are you right and I was wrong. That you are ready. If you are able to do this, 
I'll allow you to take up the mentale of the Hosenite and let you do what you please. Really? Yes. And don't worry, Kurama will help you and I will be on the backup as well, helping you out. Alright then. I'll, I'll handle this. As now Naruto still wearing his suit, dashed as fast as he could all the way to Konohagakure, which was quite far from his current hideout, which was far away from all the villages. As after arriving there, we see him teleporting nearby as he came into the range of the seal that was placed there. And next seal was inside the Hokage office as he arrived there through his father's seal. Hey, Gigi. Ah, not a my boy. It's good to see you. What brings you back? Gigi, something is going to happen soon. What? What is going to happen, Naruto? Well, Bruce suspects that now that Zetsu has broken out, have you heard about that? Unfortunately, I have. That he might try to revive Madara, the ace up his sleeve. Madara? No. No, 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 no. This can't be right. He He's supposed to be dead. He's buried at the Valley of the End, Naruto. Valley of the End? That's it, Naruto. We have to go there now. But before they could move, a huge burst of chakra was felt. No. Oh my god, no. He He's back. How can this be? Why? Why of all the times now? As Naruto looked at the terrifying face of his Gigi. Naruto, you know what to do. Gigi, gather the defenses. Defend the village. What about you, my boy? I have to go there. Someone has to fill up the shoes of the Dark Knight. I will do it. As Naruto disappeared in the yellow flash. As on the other side, we see Zatsu has sacrificed the remaining chakra of his to revive Madara. As Madara, with the scars above his face endured, revived once more. Hmm. So this is the new elemental nations, huh? Not that much of a great thing. Pity. It won't be the same after I'm done. But before he could advance, he dodged a kick as he captured the assailant's knee and literally swung him towards the wall as Naruto crashed into it. And who might you be, you clown? What even are you wearing? What sort of funny armor is that? Damn it. He was able to detect that. Naruto, switch with me. You need to regain your strength. What? You have to see what he can do. I'll buy you some time. As Bruce taking over, then said, Fine, you wanna do this the hard way? Let's do this. Hmm, so you're the first one who will be dancing with me. Let's dance, shall we? As Madara and Bruce engaged in battle, Bruce was on the defeating end as he was taking hits after hits as he was coughing blood as well. Damn it. I, I can't keep up with him. You're not the only one. Even Hashirama had quite a hard time beating him. And he was the only one who Madara considered his rival. Said QB. Ah, so you're QB's Jinchuriki. Makes things a lot easier for me. As that is when we see Batman the Zed, Kurama. Alright, but I'll be only be using half of my power, Bruce. Naruto needs the other half. Alright, that's good enough for me. Said a wounded Bruce. As Bruce's wounds healed as the body was now back to its full strength, engulfed in golden chakra. A perfect gold, perfect Jinchuriki of the QB. <laughs> and I thought I've seen it all. As the battle engaged and enraged, we see that the, the foundations of the Valley of the End begin to shake, as on the other side, Konoha has alerted the other nations as well, which they were now on at least a ceasefire terms, if nothing better, as they too have defend, put it up defenses above themselves. As punch after punch, even still, Naruto's armor cracked, as Naruto was panting heavily. Damn it, Naruto. I, I can't continue on. Damn it. Y you found any weakness? Yes, I did. Go take it. Take your shot, kid. As now we see, Naruto then did something. As Bruce began to dash towards Madara, he, from within, formed another clone. As that clone was Naruto and Madara, as both of them formed a Rasengan. As the Rasengan then combined together to form the Bijudama Rasengan as it was fired towards Madara. Madara being merely able to dodge was then surprised by two Rasengans to his behind as once they slammed in, Bruce slapped the chakra suppressors and exhauster seals. As the seals activated, we see Madara in a weakened state falling down to his knees panting heavily. What have you done? We just used our resources. We? You're only one guy with clone. 
With due consciousness, Madara, you were defeated. <laughs> you think I'm the only one? There are much more dangerous beings out there, kid. Both you cannot comprehend. And I... I was going to do this to protect you all. Killing us, huh? In order to protect us. You don't understand. And neither do we want to. If they come here, they'll face us. <laughs> like you'll be able to do any good, kid. Well, you know what? I like a good battle. And since I lost, and with a good thing, I'll have you let you have this one. And with these, the man began to crumble as he came. As now we see, Naruto then became one as he fell down to one of his knees, body exhausted with chakra as well as deep wounds. Damn it. That took a lot out of me. How in the hell was he still just panting heavily even after the chakra suppressors were on? He was enthusiastic of how we deal with the threats that are yet to become Naruto. We have to be prepared. You're right, Bruce. As after that, we hear Bruce Savers. I'm proud of you, Naruto. You achieved what I thought you would. You have proven me wrong. As after that, Naruto was happy. Bruce, true to his word, allowed Naruto after recovery to go on out on patrol. And soon, within an year or so, Batman's shoes were filled by the Uzunite. As now, the criminals feared him and once more were agitated by this figure. They knew that this guy was much lighter in mood than the Dark Knight and less broodier, but he was a strong being similar to him. As this was going on, we go towards the Suzuki's, who were discussing by Kaguya's side inside the moon after freeing her. So should we go into this world and take the chakra back? The chakra is contaminated, corrupted said Momoshiki to Kishiki as Kaguya nodded as well. It is useless to us. But the power, the raw potential, it could feed Shinju for decades. Shinju can be fed other energies. If it is corrupted, it might end up like the Shinju of Kaguya. And we have no other choice but to distribute it in the end. So I think it is better, as Momoshiki said Kishiki, that we leave it as it is, said Ishiki. As Kaguya then said, I agree. Since that world wasn't my domain, I declare it forfeited. We do not need to engage with such trivial matters. But if ever it purifies, we will come for it. Whether it be tomorrow or 10,000 years from now. Alright then, it is decided, said Ishiki, as all of them left. While on the other side, back at Earth, in the elemental nations, Uzunite became a legend in his own right. Within two years, he was also placed in the bingo book as an S-rank shinobi and detective. And whoever crossed his path was straightly sent to the hospital, just because he could do that to you. And as for the other Katsuki members, they were still remaining in prison. And as for Zetsu, well, he sacrificed himself and died. As now we see, Bruce finally thought that he was done with this world. As Naruto and Kurama was now going to bid him farewell, as the sage have arrived. You have done much well, Bruce Wayne. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sage, isn't there a way that, you know, your duty is here, Naruto, and his world needs him back. Wait, what? What do you mean, need me back? What happened? Said Bruce. Well, nothing bad. It is your friends, your comrades. They still miss you, and without you, the team's dynamic has fallen. The Justice League are at the verge of collapse. You were the silent bond that held them. You did not knew about, neither did they. Not until you vanished or died. But am I not dead? You are, but <laughs> some people just don't want you to die, I guess. What do you mean? Your body has been preserved in the Lazarus Pit for the last 20 years or so, Bruce. By your son, Damien Vane, in hopes of reviving you. He, alongside the others, missed you still. He hasn't taken up the mentality of Batman, because in his mind, it is only you who can fill that shoes. <sighs> Seems like you have a lot of duties back at home, Bruce. Still a lot of things left to do by Batman. And yet I thought I could finally earn my well-deserved retirement. As said Bruce with a smile on his face as everyone chuckled. As Naruto then said, I'm gonna miss you, old man. 
as he had Bruce, as Bruce nodded as well. Stay sharp, kid, and Kurama, watch out for him. He tends to get, you know, quite derailed from the mission. You got it, chief. You don't have to worry about anything. As Bruce, with a sigh, then returned back, as his eyes opened in the green pit as he rose from it. In front of him stood his son, much older version of him, as he looked at his father. Father, finally, you're back. Damien, is that you? said Bruce. Yes, not only me, we all are here. As one by one Bruce's eyes widened as he saw all of his prodigies standing in front of him. All older now, much older than he remembered. <laughs> Seems a lot of time passed. Twenty long years, Bruce. And this is all you say? Said Dick Grayson, otherwise known as now Nightwing. <laughs> well, sorry, Dick. Anyways, it's good to be back home. And let's get to work. Always the hard worker, aren't you? Why don't you take some rest today, old man? Said Jason Todd. Well, I guess you're right, Jason. How about dinner? On me. Let's go to the Wayne Manor. Yeah. Let's do so, father, as everyone went there, as Bruce was happy to be back. But, he was not gonna lie, he missed the old shinobi shenanigans and his other friend Kurama. But, he was happy to be with his family in his real home, back again, at Gotham. All thanks to the sage and his, well, unnerving son who was hellbent on reviving him from Lazarus Pit. As this is where I'm going to be ending the story off guys. I hope you liked this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And no, today is not a double upload even though I said that because Spidey so far hasn't replied yet. If he does, I will make it because I really want to make a story. It is just a great idea that I can't pass up. I know it's quite rude of me to just be stuck on one idea but I just really want to do that one. Anyways, as soon as he does reply, I'll be making that story. Until then... Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and leave up your ideas in the comments. Peace!